Hey there everybody, how's it going? Wanted to do a quick walk around video of my cousin's 2007 GMC Sierra 1500 crew cab with the 5.3 V8 and the Z71 4x4 package. So let's go ahead and get into it and we'll start up front, show you what and what's been done to it. Up top on the windshield, he is running a 2.5% brow. For headlights, he's running a 6K 35 watt HID bulb. Those stock reflector housings actually do a really, really good job at putting out a clean light pattern on the road without giving off really too much glare. In his grill, we did two six inch LED light bars. And for fog lights, what we did was we actually removed his stock fog light housing and um, we purchased a set of the fog light covers that usually come on like the lower trimmer, the lower trim levels off of like Amazon. And we purchased a Kelly raised flush mount LED pod. Then we cut out um, the hole for the pod to slide in back, we bolted that up. And uh, then the little plastic cover just pops in place and locks. Actually came out as a really, really clean install. Looks great. The Cali Rays LED pods, they are a little bit more expensive, but definitely worth every penny. They just hold up a whole lot better. You don't really see any moisture in them. However, these are a spot beam pattern. And um, fog lights are usually more of a flood beam type pattern. So that's just one thing to take into consideration. He is running a 2.5 inch leveling kit. That is a stretch spacer up on top. And then he's running a set of 20 by 10 negative 19 hostile alphas in chrome finish wrapped in a set of 33 12 and a half R20 Nitto Ridge Grapplers. For those that don't know, the Ridge Grappler actually is available with two sidewalls and he opted out for the more aggressive sidewall. Came out as a really, really clean setup. With it just being a leveling kit, it didn't use another knuckle. So this is just kind of a, a side down the shot. I shot down the side to show you what it looks like stance wise and we're going to go ahead and show you front end angles. So as you can see that CV axle is still relatively happy, not really binding up, the ball joint still doesn't look too bad. We, we did upgrade the to the 2017 uh, new body style tow mirrors, these come with the little backup lights it is a full powered mirror sill and turn signal also has turn signal up front and what we did was we purchased a part off of boost auto parts that made the turn signal also into a running light that kind of involved taking apart the whole mirror um, splicing or and or uh, soldering into the factory wiring that came on the mirror but it's definitely one little touch so that I would highly recommend for the truck as it does. It just looks so great at night once all the lights are turned on. Up front here in Georgia, we're going to call that legal tint. On the back, the back doors of the crew cab, he is running a 5% tint. And on the back window, he's running a 2.5% tint. The 2.5, I do definitely recommend Just looks so good. Rear lift wise, he's running a larger block in the back along with an Adelie. leaf. And uh, he, he also has a custom made Y pipe coming out to three and a half inch dual tips at a 45 on the side. Truck sounds absolutely great. If you're looking for a really good rumble, definitely, definitely one way to go. If you guys are interested in more installation videos that are still to come for this truck of newer upgrades and just kind of things that we kind of mess around with with, with these trucks let us know We'd be happy to record those if you guys would like to see a general ownership review of this truck I can definitely get that from my cousin so if you guys would like to see that drop that down in the comments below and we'll definitely bring that out to you guys stay tuned for more installations that are to come on both of these trucks and hopefully there'll be another truck here in the squad here soon so you guys have a good one.